joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. Lydia, good day. Thank you for joining. joining thank you for joining wherever you are joining from i appreciate you if they kick you out try to come back you know the challenges we are having they are always trying to suppress us and make sure that we don't get our message out but we will not give up we continue to preach the gospel but we continue to preach the gospel of biafra until we get our freedom we must continue yes we must continue no matter what happens we must continue we must continue on that path that we're supposed to go we must have to continue no matter what the enemy does no matter what they do no matter their blackmail, their propaganda, no matter their distractions, we must continue to preach this gospel until it gets to every corner. So when you hear we must continue, you ask yourself, are you still in the race or you are relaxing? Are you still in the race or you are relaxing? This is the time you have to wake up. There is no time to relax. There is no time to rest. Because the enemy we are up against, they are not resting. Every day they are looking for new strategies. Every day they are bringing up new propagandas. Every day they are drawing new plans on how to hold us down. On our own side, we have to stand up and stand firm. That is what we have to do as beer friends. So we must continue. Wherever you are watching from, as you join the brokers, please, you share on your own platform. Share to any WhatsApp group you belong so that we can be able to reach out to people. They are trying seriously to block us from preaching. They are trying seriously to hinder us from broadcasting. But we will never stop. As long as we still have the opportunity to come online, we will continue to come. We will continue to come. Even if it is one person, two people, or three people that are here, we will be here. Thank you so much, my beloved Blizzy. Thank you so much for joining, Blizzy. I appreciate you, my beloved. Thank you so much, baby. You're welcome. I appreciate you for your support. Thank you so much for being there for me all the time. Blizzy, thank you so much. I appreciate you. So, my fellow beer friends that are watching, any place you're watching from, I thank you for being there for me at all the time. And... Uh, we must continue no matter the distractions we get no matter the obstruction no matter the hindrances no matter the failures the obstacles that we are getting day in day out we must have to continue to stand firm to pursue that which matters to us we will continue to pursue that we will never relent in our effort we will never give up we will never get distracted so let us stand firm let us stand firm and stand strong Today, you can see new things that are coming up right, left, and center. You can see new black males that are coming up from right, left, and center. Thank you so much, Peter Odenaka. Thank you for joining. Please share the broadcast as you join. Today, we have to stand up and do the needful. Why I use that topic that we must continue? This is the time that we have to put in all effort. We have to put in all effort. Do not allow anyone to distract you. Do not allow anyone to distract you. More distractions are coming. I urge you, wherever you are, any place you are watching from, 
if you are watching from Biafra land, from Asia, Europe, America, Australia, whichever part of the world you are watching, please make sure that this message gets to everybody that is close to you. In this month of May, in this month of May, it is a very critical month that we must be more serious than we have ever been. We must be more serious than we have ever been. You can see a lot of civil disobedience that have been lined up for this month. So many events are lined up for this month. And this month is a month that we will make a strong wave to make sure that our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano is released. If you want Mazen Nandekano to be released, do not joke with any civil disobedience that is organized this very month. Any civil disobedience that is organized this very month, do not joke with it. You must participate in it. Get your people informed. Those who are not online, who are not informed, please reach out to everybody and make sure that they are informed. This month of May, this month of May is a very critical month in this very struggle. It is a very critical month in this restoration of Biafra. Every one of us must stand strong and stand firm. Every one of us must be ready for what is coming. Every single one of us must be ready for what is coming. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. Are distractions going to come? Distractions are going to come. They are going to come from the most unexpected places. They are going to come from where you never expected. That is where you're going to come from. But I bet you, if you stand firm, stand strong and focus, we are going to win this very war in this moon that we're in. We are going to secure the freedom of Mazen and Nandekano in this moon that we're in. Those of you who are saying that we should do something, those of you who are asking what shall we do, those of you who are worried and concerned about the situation of our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano, if you are genuinely, genuinely concerned about Mazen Nandekano, this month of May, you must prepare yourself. We have the four days sit at home, leading to the case of Mazen Nandekano. And we have the two weeks that will be coming after that, if they refuse to release him. And we have the 29th sit at home. We also have the 30th May sit at home. You can see how occupied this month is. It's a very sensitive and critical time. That if the Biafran people, if we can do things right, there will be a great turnaround in this month in the restoration of Biafra. There will be a great turnaround. If you want to see changes, if you sincerely want to see changes, if you sincerely support that you want Biafra to be, to come in this very year that we are in, 2023, you must not joke with any event call civil disobedience in this very month. Do not play with any activity in the struggle this very month. Don't play with it. No matter whatever happens, no matter how busy you are, no matter whatever you know you can contribute, in this very month, make those contributions. Make out time. Join the contributions. Join in the struggle. Do anything possible. Listen to instruction. That is the most important thing. Listen to instruction. Every single instruction that will be coming in this month of May, if you genuinely, 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 you are autopiloted, even if you're not in autopilot and you are genuinely seeking for freedom, you must pay attention to the new Prime Minister of the African government in exile, our spokesperson, Mazi Simon Epa. You must pay attention to him and obey every instruction. The month of May is a critical month in this struggle that we are in. In the face of restoration that we are in today, this month is a critical month. Again, for the release of our Supreme Damazan Nandekano, and you and I know that the release of Mazen Nandekano is actually the coming of Biafra. The release of Mazen Nandekano is going hand in hand with the coming of Biafra. 
That is why you see the way our spokesperson and prime minister of the African government in exile is doing his job. He is not separating the two from each other. These are two things in one. Two things in one. And we are going to use one stone to kill those two birds. In this month of May. That is why the month of May is a very critical month. If you are a genuine Biafra, genuine from your own heart, I'm not talking about those who are pretending or the career agitators. No. If you know that the Biafra business is your business, if you know that the coming of Biafra is your fate, please, I beg you in the name of Chukwu Biafra, pay attention to every instruction in this month. Follow our Prime Minister in his uh, Twitter handle. Follow him. So that you can be getting updates every day, every day, hour by hour. So that you can be able to pay attention to the time that we are in. It is not time to play. It is not time to joke. It is no longer time to say, what do we do to free Mazen Nandikano? As I have said in my previous broadcast, those questions you are asking, the answers are here. On your own part, what are you doing? How prepared are you? It is not enough to come and cry and say, Oh, Mazen Nandikano have been there for too long. Oh, what can we do to free Mazen Nandikano? Why are we not doing anything? Why are we not? This is the time. Every single time you make that statement, I say, this is the time. Go to various platforms, various WhatsApp groups. You will see people worried about Mazin Nandekano condition. You see people asking, how do we free Mazin Nandekano? Does it mean that we are silent? Some will say we are not doing anything. We are quiet. We are silent. We are not silent. The hour has come. The hour has come. Every single one of us must put our hand on deck to make sure that our Supreme Leader, Mazen Nandekanu, is released. And on that note, you have heard about the seat at home that is lined up. Every of those civil disobedient, make sure you participate in it. Make sure you participate in it. Please share this broadcast as you join. Share the broadcast in any WhatsApp group that you belong. Make sure you share this broadcast at least to one person. And I know that Facebook is kicking some people out. When they kick you out, try to come back. When they kick you out, try to come back. We are going nowhere. We'll be here passing the message. We are in a very critical time. At this point in time, it's only the strong that can stand. So many of us that are preaching this gospel, our platforms are under attack. All our platforms are under attack. It takes a lot of God and strength to continue to preach this gospel and go ahead with it. They try as much as possible to frustrate us and see that we don't go forward. But I appreciate my fellow media warriors. Every media warrior in autopilot, we are standing firm, regardless of the attacks that are coming. We are focused on what we want and what we need because we know where we are heading. We know where we are coming from. And I will urge everybody that is participating in the broadcast to give their own support by sharing. Let the message get to everyone. This month is a critical month. Our Supreme Amazon Nande can have suffered enough. He has suffered enough. And the world can be a witness that he has suffered enough. This is an innocent man that has been detained in the DSS in Nigeria. An innocent man who committed no crime. They went all the way to Kenya to kidnap him. And one of the criminal things you see in that contraption called Nigeria is the media. That is why I was really like describe them as evil media. Evil media. That they, when you give them money, they can they they can preach preach Satan to be an angel of light if you give them money. All they need is money. Once you pay to them, they can turn black to be white. That is how bad the media in Nigeria is. And it's so painful that sometimes you see, see some of this media 
when they want to report about the kidnap of Asuna Mazin and Nekano, one of them was reported as a re-arrest. They are reporting as a re-arrest. Up to now, with all the evidence that is overwhelming, with all the overwhelming evidence that the whole world is watching and seeing, somebody will come on the media and he will be reporting the kidnap of Asuna Mazin and Nekano and the extra edition as re-arrest. What a shame. Even when the court, when the court itself have pronounced, when the court itself have acknowledged that Mazin Nan Nekano was kidnapped from Kenya unlawfully and extra rendition to Nigeria. And the court have ordered Nigeria to let him go and send him back to where he's coming and pay him compensation. The news is there before everyone to read. With all this evidence before the whole world, yet the media will come out and begin to report the kidnap of Mazen Nanekano as a re-arrest. That is how bad it is. That is how evil they are. And some of them, to show you how evil they are, some of them, when they want to describe the absence of Mazen Nanekano to save his life, they are still describing it as jumping bail. Even when that had been explained time and time again, that our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano never ever jumped bail in Nigeria. When he was arrested in 2015 in the airport, they took him to court. The same game they were playing there, after two years, he was granted bail. When they arrested him, bail, they gave him some conditions that are, that are, that are very, very irrelevant and unnecessary. Mazen Nandekano made the conditions and came out. And when he came out, he was preparing to go back to court for his own case. The day of the court was approved, about a week to the day, the day of court. Even before that time, he made a broadcast and said that he is going to Abuja court with one million men as supporters. He wasn't running away. But could they wait? The government could not wait for Mazen Nanakan to come to court. They came to his house to take his life. Nigerian government came to Mazen Nandekano's house to take his life. I watched it live. I was watching it. Somebody was broadcasting it live. On Facebook, I watched it. The video is still on Facebook up to today. How they tried to take away the life of Mazen Nandekano. And in the process, many lives were lost. Many lives were lost. Something that was covered. The video is still there on Facebook. Go there and you type. The attack in the home of Mazen Nandekan. You will see the video pop up. Somebody streamed it live. What transpired? When they couldn't succeed to take life of Mazen Nandekan, Mazen Nandekan, by the special grace of Chukuku Kabema, escaped them to save his life. And the next thing we saw Mazen Nandekan, after so many months, was in Israel. Then he went back to the UK. To secure himself how does that translate to jumping on fail somebody who was preparing to go to court and you send the military to his house for what reason if you wanted to arrest him assuming you wanted to arrest him maybe that he has violated his bail that you want to arrest him why didn't you wait for him to come to the court come to the court then you arrest him but they could not wait they send the military we saw military with jet flying over his home. They came to take his life. And in the process, 28 people lost their life. Jack lost his own life. The dog. So many other people lost their life. And in that same process, our Supreme Damazin Nani kind of lost his two parents. His father and mother. Because of that attack. And with all this overwhelming evidence that is before the whole world, that doesn't need, it doesn't need any microscope or somebody to explain to you. All you need to do is go to Facebook and you type the attack of Homo Mazen Nandekano. The video will pop up. You see it for yourself what transpired. With all these evidences that is before you, somebody will still come to the media and begin to describe Mazen Nandekano as somebody that jumped bail. The lawyers have won the case in the court. He never jumped bail. 
They spoke about it time and time again. Even Trump, but still, some evil men are still preaching that very thing on media. Up to recent, somebody recently began to talk of re-arrest of Mazen Nandekan in Kenya. How, how does what has re-arrest got to do with kidnap? The way Mazen Nandekan was bundled from Kenya, kidnapped, wounded, cover his head, tortured for eight days, cover his head, and flew him to Nigeria without any protocol. Is that what you call arrest? And a media person will come and be reporting it as a arrest. This is how evil this will that is That's why I'm telling you that the enemy we are up against, they are unrepentant souls and they will do everything to push us down. That is why we must be consistent in our requests and our words. Always remember, consistency is the key.